YouTube, Dumas RC, back with another video. Um, this one will be Auto World 2022 release for both A and B. Um, I got these cases from uh, Maze Collectibles. Uh, link down in the description for his Instagram account. Um, he helps me get a lot of a lot of my stuff. Um, he had, he orders for me because he knows. I'm like, screw it, I just want the case. You order me a case, awesome, thanks. So he hooks me up with those. Um, so uh, I already opened these. They're already sliced open. And we will just get right into it. Uh, so we'll do version A first. Uh, car. I don't know which one. So we'll do. We have 74 Dodge Challenger Rally in gold poly. We have. The 2021 Shelby GT500 Carbon Fiber Track Pack. That's a mouthful. And uh, Velocity Blue. We got uh, the 1970 Chevy Impala Custom Coupe in Black Cherry Poly. We got 20, 2010 Chevy Camaro Hearst Edition in Summit White. Yeah, right. And we have 67, 67, I can't talk, damn it, all right, 67 Chevy Chevelle SS396 in Tuxedo Black, and lastly, the new casting of the mix, we got, <coughs> excuse me, the 1986 Dodge Conquest TSI in red. And version B, it's going to be all the same cars again. Uh, open this thing here. Flip it over. We got the 67 Chevy Chevelle SS396 in Mountain Green Poly. We get let's see, the 2021 Chevy GT500 in iconic silver, and you got let's see, there's uh the 2010 Chevy Camaro uh Hearst Edition just in black. We got the uh 74 Dodge Challenger Rally in bright red. The Dodge Conquest uh, TSI in white. And lastly, Ultra Red. Uh, the Semi Chevelle Impala Custom Coupe. It's supposed to be Astro Boot Poly. Uh, but goes after the version A. You can tell that, we can definitely tell that from the wheels. Uh, that was awesome to pull that from the case. So. I picked one up. <laughs> Astro Blue Poly. All right. Get the box out of the way here. Display you in the background. I'm not going to open you yet. I'm debating if I'm going to open it or not. I probably will. If I do, I'll do it on camera. I got a few Ultra Reds I'm going to open on another video. I'll decide by then. <laughs> All right. Let's do we'll do the new casting first. I mean, kind of second to last. That's my, probably my favorite one in the, can, in the mix. So, doot. no, uh, yeah, there we go, that, uh, swap that over there, all right, we'll do it like this, <laughs> all right, we'll do the, Chevelle, uh, the Challengers first, all right, we'll do version A in the gold, gold poly, that came right off. So, <clears throat> these uh, 70 to 74 Chevelles, I've been trying to, uh, I've been kind of going back and getting what I can of them. It was cool to always see some newer ones. Uh, they've done almost every version, I think, so far. I wish they would do uh, another uh, pair of the uh, 71, because the 71 Challenger was only done in one mix. I can't remember if it was like uh, 2016 release 5 or... 
2017 release one. There's four colors, and it was like when they only did like 1,200, 1,300 of each, uh, A through D. <clears throat> and the bright red, and here, we'll have the bright red one. I think the 74 was the first Chevelle they did. I can't remember if 73 or 74 was the first one that they had done. So, yeah, I remember, uh, too, like, uh, at my college, someone had a, I think it was a 73, a 73 in yellow that they drove. I think it, it, not, it wasn't, it wasn't like rough, rough, but definitely wasn't perfect. <laughs> but hey, it was a runner. Probably only had a 318 in it. I doubt it had the 360. Let's see, what's that say there? Yeah, it was 360 performer. 360... Something. Maybe I read it on this one better. Maybe we can zoom. No, no, we're not gonna focus. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next, let's do Chevelles. Why not? All right. Version B is green. We'll do the black one first. Then version A. Mind me uh, clearing my throat. It's my throat is dry for whatever reason right now. Allergies are kicking in. I hate it. <laughs> so there she is in black. Kind of, uh, eh, I kind of like the green one more. I like the, I, I think, I think the green one looks better. Honestly, as much as I like the black one, I think the wheels really set the green one. Yeah, these are like, these are what you would, I, like classic uh, wheels you would see on these old Chevelles. I get my, yep, there's the engine bay. So, yeah. Cool casting, it was good, to see, cool to see these come back. I mean, they know the 66, the 66 body was done on the uh, Zinger chassis on a Zinger base uh, last year. Well, for 2022. Was that 2021? No, it's 2022. No. Shit, I can't remember. <laughs> Either way, it was like it was a late mix last year. It was done on uh, on a zinger base and uh and it looks cool, so that probably means they'll do a 67 at some point as well. Because the base should just easily swap over. All right, next up, we'll do the Camaros. Uh, do version A in white first. And then, version B in black, which I already started opening off camera. Now it's open, open. So I'm not the biggest fan of these modern Camaros. I just, as far as like the look, I don't care for the look of them that much. But yeah, the plate's the same. I figured that one would have had a red H in the Hearst instead. But uh, oh, I still got inserted headlight detail. I didn't know that. That's cool. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of these, but uh. This one I I do like. Uh, there we go. I do like this one. These ones uh, as the Hearst edition. I, I like them. Um, and actually, I kind of plan on buying another pair because I want to do a base swap. <laughs> of course, because I'm weird like that. I want to do a base swap with. Uh, Excuse me. Um, two Zinger ones from the uh, the ones from the two pack. Cause like I think the one with chrome wheels, chrome hubs has a uh, Hoosier lettered tire lettered tires. So I'm gonna put that one on. I'm gonna put the black body, this black body on that base, 
And when the black hubs has a uh, Mickey Thompson lettered tires. And I'm going to put this body on that base. So I'm going to do that eventually once I uh, care enough to. <laughs> At least that's the plan. Who knows if I actually will ever get to it. Uh, next up, we'll open up the 21 uh, Shelby GT500. So open up the one in Velocity Blue first. I think this was a new casting in the mix before this. Because it was, uh, I knew it was the only new casting that actually, like, it was the only new Auto World casting that came out in calendar year 2022. And it was, one was green, one was dark, one was like uh, lime green, one was red. I don't remember the actual color colors. Let's see, can I get the... There we go. There you can see the engine bay. My hands, hopefully it'll focus, kind of, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and the iconic silver. Yeah, and that green one from last year was, uh, I thought it was really cool. It looked really good. Like, the red one looked sharp, but the green one just popped. Oh, yeah, so that's a trick I've been using, like, like uh, using blister plastic to uh, pop open the hoods. I don't know why I didn't do it on that one, but uh, I've been kind of doing that here and there. So... There. <laughs> I don't know why I have to bring my hand in there to make it focus but all right next we will do do the new casting last let's do up the uh 1970 impalas first uh this one is black cherry poly i was really happy to see this casting come back i'm hoping they do a few i'm hoping they keep going with it and do more um i know they tooled up a new uh front core for the uh kingswood estate wagon with the 70 uh, nose with the 70, 1970 front end. So that'll be a fun, that'll be fun when they eventually release that. Um, these, the, the 70 Impala, it's been a while since they've really done it. Excuse me. But, um, I'm happy they have. I mean, this one has been fun. It's been a pain trying to go back and, uh, get any of the past releases other than the Mio Lowrider ones because those are a dime a dozen but any of the regular the normal releases have been just a pain and i really like that they put these wheels on this one i think it looks it looks really cool with these wheels on it and then the other one version b is a lowrider version in astro blue poly yep And there's this one. So as you, this one, it's got the smaller wheels like we're on the uh, those Mio exclusive uh, low rider versions. Um, I think that, that was kind of neat that they did that. You know, kind of really distinguished the two of them, the two versions. Um, and actually, I did end up picking up two extras. I'm probably going to base swap them just because I want the blue with those wheels. And that's probably the easiest way to do it. <laughs> All right. Lastly, we got, let's see, version A. We'll do open up the red Conquest first. So this was an interesting one. I didn't, this was a, probably when they first announced it, a very unexpected casting for them to do. Um... It's kind of a, almost a seemingly forgotten uh, 80s Japanese car to uh, kind of feature. And I know they're doing, I think they're doing, uh, I forget which Supra, I think they're doing the later 80s uh, Supra. So that'll be out later. And what the hell? Ah, uh, I got a chip on there. That blows. That's all right. I got another. I ended up picking up another one in the store, <laughs> so I'll open that one later. Um, 
But yeah, this is a this is really neat to see these. I remember seeing these run around town uh, when I was when I was little. So '86, I was a year. <laughs> this represents an '86. I was a year old. So that tells you how old I am. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I remember seeing those run around when, as I got a little older. And then you got it in white. Open. That's something I didn't do. I usually go over the freaking little facts sometimes when I open these, and I didn't do that in this video. The last couple, really. Should probably start doing that again. Because why not? Uh, and here she is in white. Let's see. The tail uh, They. Uh, no, nope. They aren't. Conquer. Uh, I thought the I thought the plates were different. But they're not. So this one's pretty cool. It's got the uh, kind of a maroon interior. And, uh, yeah. So, like I said, I'm, I'm happy they came up, they came out with this. Um, especially now that they, they can do Dodge Plymouth Chrysler uh, Conquests as well as, obviously, the original version, the, uh, the, uh, the Mitsubishi uh, Starion. Is the actual car, and then uh, it's just a a badge engineered uh, for Dodge and Chrysler and all that. So, <laughs> uh, cool little. I mean, they're they're a cool little car. I mean, they're, they're small. Rear, I think they're yeah, they're small rear drive. Are they rear drive? I thought they were rear drive. Yeah, yeah, they're rear wheel drive. Duh. So. Small rear drive platform, a little, little turbo. I mean, you wouldn't have the turbos of today without having gone through the pains of the 80s, I guess you could say. Um, so night, these are really cool to like represent like the early, early days of the turbo and what could actually be done with them. So, yeah, that is 2022 release four. We are finally done with that one. Um, and, yeah, I, that, was, that was cool pulling the ultra red from the case. Um, like I said, I might open that up with the, uh, I have at least four. I'm going to open up on another video. So I might throw that one in it, make it five. <laughs> we'll see. All right, everyone. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully you enjoy the videos of my ramblings. And we will see you next time. Peace.